Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our red bobble ornament. Now I just got done putting together the green one, which is very similar. Hopefully, if you're making one, you're making the other, and this one is gonna go together just as easily as the first one. Um, basically, the main thing you wanna make sure you do here is that you have these alternating. You want uh, red, gold, red, gold, so on and so forth, or the vice versa, it doesn't matter. And the process, uh, is very simple actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of our pieces and begin applying our glue. You wanna focus that glue around the perimeter and I'm gonna take it one step further and take and spread that glue out to the very, very edge of this piece because we want everything to look nice and seamless. We'll grab our next layer and you can actually just use your table to match it up. You want both of these sitting flat on your surface. You can kind of squish it together like this too. And then just press down, make sure it's making contact with your table. And then just begin squeezing from end to end. You can put it down this way too, give that an extra press just to get it to really sit nice and flat. And there you have it. Okay, so next we're gonna take a red layer and connect it like that. And just rinse and repeat as they say. Very simple little project. I definitely think this is one that, uh, I guess depending on the age, you could definitely get your kids involved with this. I'm sure they love it. And I am just looking forward to seeing that one person that is actually gonna make enough of these for their entire tree. I guess that could be kind of a, a daunting task, but again, if you well, there's power numbers, as they say. So if you do this with a family member, I bet you could probably put one of these together in about 10 minutes. I think the last video came in at about 15, maybe, but that's mostly because, uh, well, I was giving instruction while putting it together. Okay, so there you have it, that white seam. I love it, actually. Uh, the contrast on that is beautiful. Okay, so we've got red here, which means we need to go with the gold. It's really the only mistake you can make is just getting them out of order. So just don't do that. Keep everything in order, okay? And make sure that you're getting that glue out to the very perimeter so that that seam is nice and clean. Okay, grab your next piece, pop it right in place, right on top of your surface as well. And then you can kind of just feel by running your finger along the very edge of this ornament kind of feel whether or not it's in the correct place. Again, it should be nice and flat on your surface. Use that to your advantage. Okay, and then you can put that down like so and press down, give it a nice solid push. And there we go. Okay, so I've got gold, which means I'm moving on to red. And let's get her, keep her moving as they say. Okay. And again, spreading that glue out to the very edge, like so. And using my table, getting that nice and aligned, feeling the edge, making sure everything feels good. And put that down, give it a press, very simple. And uh, I think this has taken me a little extra time because I'm using this glitter. Of course you want to, if you have it, which I mean, it's readily available pretty much anywhere at your local scrapbook store, or Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, if you're using um, cardstock, I think this will actually go even quicker because uh, the paper is a little more porous. It's a lot easier. Uh, it doesn't take as long for it to set, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, next layer here. Uh, we just did red, so we're going with the gold. Okay, just, it's really all there is to it. Spread that glue out to the edge, wipe your finger off, and grab that next piece. Use your table, get it nice and centered on there. Should be nice and flat against your surface. And all the way up and down. There we go, perfect. Give that a good, solid press. I was just taking a look at it from this angle here and it was a tiny bit off, so just kind of give it a nudge. And there we go. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Yeah, I mean, technically, uh, I think we have eight layers, which is, I think, the perfect amount. 
You could probably get away with a little bit less, but let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Red, gold, red, gold, red, gold. So next up is our red. Let's keep going here. And then at the end here, I'll show you how to tether or glue your little string, because obviously we're gonna be hanging this. So we wanna incorporate some string to this. And there's a few little, little touches that we'll add to it as well, just to kind of pretty it up. And it's your ornament, so you can do with it whatever you want to jazz it up. But I'll show you what we're gonna do. Just very simple things that involve these little beads. Little pearls, I guess you could say. Okay, so there's that. Looking sharp, nice and sturdy, very heavy, um, which is good. You want it to be a nice solid ornament. Okay, last one here. Spread that glue out to the very edge. Got a little bit on my hand there, that's okay. Grab the next piece, line it up, use your table. Press it into place, feel the edge. Everything should, when you look at it from this angle, you shouldn't really see any of the layers poking out. It should look like one solid piece. Okay, and there it is. Give that a few extra presses, and that is the ornament ready to go here. Now, uh, so as far as incorporating the string here, um, what I did last time was I kind of figured out how much I wanted. Um, I'm gonna you want a little bit of extra in there so it holds it in place and then kind of loop it around and figure out how much you want. Probably more than, more is better than less. Okay. And then, so that's about, that's about how much I want. I'll leave a little excess in there trim off the rest and then just so that it stays in place while we're gluing this I'm just going to throw a little bit of glue right on there I think hot glue would probably be uh, a, a better choice for this but that's going to be okay it's kind of just because it's wet it's staying in place and now finally just throw a little bit of glue around the perimeter on one side like so and then I'll just do a little line here on the inside, again, spreading that glue out to the very edge, like so. And then we'll go ahead and close it up. First, before we take a bunch of layers and kind of squeeze them together like we were with the previous steps, I wanna make sure that everything is initially aligned correctly. Let that glue get a little tacky. Pull the string in so that it's nice and centered if need be. And now we can take a few extra layers and just kind of use those to apply some extra force. Okay. And there we go. And there it is. Okay, so now what you can do to kind of cement this and get it all ready to go. Uh, again, we have these little pearls, they're little beads, and I'm going to feed one through our little little string here. If you're using this sort of braided gold metallic string like I am, it helps to just kind of twist it to make it a little bit stronger. Okay. Or not a little bit stronger, but a little more rigid because it is a little difficult sometimes to feed this braided string through, but that didn't seem to give me any trouble at all. Okay, and then we'll feed that down. And then we'll just throw a little bit of hot glue right at the base of this. Okay. And I didn't wait long enough for my string to adhere to the inside. So I'm kind of pushing a little bit more in but let me get my, let's get the hot glue going here. We'll just throw a little dot of hot glue right at the top of this here and bring the little pearl or bead down and just kind of hold that in place. That'll also hold the string in place in case we didn't get it right the first time. And then I'll throw one more little pearl on the bottom as well <clears throat> to finish it off. 
Okay, let me get this going here. So just a little drop of glue. You don't need a lot. Less is more. This will do, this will hold it nice and sturdy with just a tiny little bit. And then just press the pearl on there. Make sure it's nice and centered. And there you have it. And you've got your little string for hanging. Give that a few moments to dry before you start tugging on it. Okay, but there you go. You can see how nice that looks. And then we'll finish it off on the bottom. Small little drop of glue on the bottom. Just go easy with the glue. And just take another one, pop it right on the bottom. Again, try not to use too much glue. The idea is to hold it in place. If you apply too much and it squirts out, it, it'll be noticeable. So you wanna to try to avoid that. Uh, but there it is. There is our beautiful little ornament. And that is ready to go. So the only thing we may need to do is just kind of squeeze some of these together to uh, get the spacing a little more even throughout. Uh, but aside from that, that's really gonna do it for this one. And it is gorgeous. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our festive ornaments bundle, I would love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official, or you can just type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom of your screen. So happy ornament making, and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos, and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.